Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoy today's video, make sure you come back every day because we're in Disney World right now, at least for another couple of days. And then we're gonna go on a hiatus and then we'll be back in November. And then we'll go on a really short hiatus and we'll be back in January. And then hopefully we'll go on a short hiatus and we'll like buy a house here or something. I got some coffees and waters for the morning, some pastries. Time to finish this start and finish this Friday work day. He's been a good kid today. We've been in the room. I got the vlog done. Peter's working. We got Mickey cartoons on. And I have a little lobby haul to show. So we always get Edmunds Donuts while we're at Disney. And we ran out. So for the last two days, we need, we need some. Open them right now. And then these are some of Jamesy's favorite snacks while at Disney. The white cheddar corn puffs, which are so so good. And the cinnamon swirl mini rice crisps. They're just nice to have with us so we can pop them in his little snack tray. And I got this unexpected souvenir. It's a new magic band. I forgot to bring any magic bands. Just like, I've only had plain color ones that I got from being an annual pass holder. Um, this is really cute. It has all the little icons representing the princesses. So I got a magic band. And then Monster, because it's Friday and I, we might end up at Magic Kingdom. And that's open until 11 o'clock. So. And once you're signed off, you're done for the weekend. Oh, it's a Friday at 5, sunny kind of time. We're ready to go play. Got the baby cover, the fan. I forgot my sunglasses. Oh, no. We're gonna take a ridiculous way, but enjoyable way to Magic Kingdom. So what we're doing, why we say it's ridiculous, is because we're in the Skyliner to Epcot, bless you James. Bump in, because that's where our magic, that's where our pass is for. Um, magic Kingdom doesn't have any passes today, so we're gonna Skyliner, because it's enjoyable to Epcot, bump in, grab fish and chips, walk to the front of Epcot, leave Epcot, get on the monorail, enjoy our first and probably last monorail trip of we went on the monorail earlier this trip. We've been here for so long. Oh, that's right, we did. But another one, a nice, but like we, we usually don't often do this in their park yeah, that's true. one. Do that one to Magic Kingdom, then spend the evening in Magic Kingdom. That's fun, right? It's so fun. Wow. We are now making over oh. Glass flight, Mickey Mickey. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the most magical flight on earth. Time for some Skyliner confessions. <laughs> well, I had mentioned on our first day here that we would tell you the story of how we stayed at Pop Century before because we've never been able to talk about it. Um, so it was 10 years ago, we were getting ready to do our Disney college program. I had never been to Disney World before, so Sam was like, we should go to Disney World. Yeah, well first we had planned a trip to Disney World and we were 19. My parents were like a little bit more reserved as people and like as parents really. They did not like the idea of us staying in a hotel room when we were 19. Your mom did. My mom did. Your dad was okay with it. Your dad was <laughs> pumped like, for you to bring me a first time adult experience yeah. or Disney World to Disney World. Yes. And she's like, I trust you. I just don't want people to think more than you. Which is whatever is how she felt. So then, we apply for the Disney College program. And so instead of just going on a vacation. We come for we five come months. For five months. Um, so now my mom knows all of this, clearly. She's looking down on us from heaven. So there's this is why we can share it. Yeah, so then, because we're doing, doing the Disney College program, Sarah and her dad are like, Peter has to experience Disney World magic before he makes it. Right. So. We say, let's go down for a trip a week before. Um, we'll stay with our friend Jill, who you've seen. Um, we'll stay with her. We'll start every day at Disney Springs. Take the bus to the parks. That's what we told my mom. And <laughs> that this is a plan that was sanctioned by Sarah's father. Yes. He so my it. dad 
said you cannot, like, Peter has to experience it at Disney. We're not going to tell your mom. Book Pop Century. Now, I am someone who's literally known as a child for someone who told on myself. Like, yeah. I did not break rules. I did not go behind my mother's back. Um, but, like, this felt so important, and like obviously we had my dad behind us. And so we did. So we did it, and so we stayed, stayed at Pop Century. Told her mom <laughs> that we stayed with Jill. Even went to Jill's apartment the night we got here, and like yeah. took photos and hung out with Jill that night. Yeah. Um, so this is not a story for any young children. Sorry for any like this was like a story of us breaking the rules. But we were breaking the rules, sanctioned by one of your parents. Yes. <laughs> and, and we never so, told her mom. We never told her mom. We don't, I don't think my dad ever told her either. I don't think so either. Yeah, so it's just like this, we don't know. So, this is a funny story. Yeah, and Peter loved Pop Century so much. He wanted to stay there instead of going to Disney Springs. It's a really good gift shop. Sorry about that break. We had to go through the turn and station every year. So yeah, that is our funny story that we've never been able to be open about. <laughs> it was long because my mom watched it. I wish she would have found out. She's gonna come back and haunt us now. <laughs> Here we are. In an Gateway, and a, currently we'll see how long this lasts. Both babies are sleeping. And hopefully it stays that way, because James needs a nap, Teddy could use one. We're gonna get a stroll through Epcot, and they can stay like this on the monorail. So hopefully we have a calm monorail the, since it's just the afternoon, and everybody can stay asleep and snooze and wake up for a good time in Magic Kingdom. I was all excited to use my new magic fan and I was like, oh, it's it's not working. I just bought it today. Like I started like word vomiting and she's like, no, you just didn't place your finger right. And I was like, Whoa. oh, sorry. Fish and chips is I, swear I've, I swear I've been here before. <laughs> We're going to grab some fish and chips. Did you say that already? I said I'm about to order on a mobile order. It's MDX. This vlog is sponsored by um, Disney World Incorporated. Here we have it. Some fish and chips, waters, and a beer for myself. Um, just waiting for Sarah to pop up. Got a good spot. I mean, it's like, looking not busy for a Friday afternoon at Epcot, but it still is early. Um, but we're not staying here. We're just eating and walking through. But I love a good Epcot afternoon. You got something? What'd you get? Chocolate covered honeycomb. Ooh, interesting. I think I've tried it before, but English chocolate is always way better than American. I feel like we've had this in America. Yeah. Remnants of flower and garden before it gets chopped up for food and wine. Food and wine. We're gonna be here for food and wine. It's also the, like the longest, most ridiculous festival of everything, but it's so worth right. it. So it's a very far away, but we will be here. You ready to go to Magic Kingdom? So we have been taking regular air conditioning breaks. And so we're in this shop we never go in at the front of Future World. Those are cool. Are they just normal shorts or are they like running shorts? They're at leisure, so I could probably use them. Yeah, I would just wear like running liner. Yeah, that's cool. But we never come in here. I mean, there's some gems, including what I took the camera out for. Peter's a little jealous. I got a magic fan, so that one is cool. Okay, Peter might have found a different souvenir. The end seam on those shorts is just not yeah. fit for running. That is nice. I love it. You love it? It's a different material than your other coat. Like this is more substantial. And look at this front pocket. That's cool. Yes, take that Katie Vine and you can keep your <laughs> Epcot manager three quarters zip. Oh yes. Also, 
What? The diamond celebration is cool. Yeah, Disneyland. That was cool. A lot of factors in that. Yeah. Um, we also forgot to mention that the cards went home today, so it's just us. The rest of the weekend, yeah, it's it's a really weird feeling. It feels so good to be coming into the Magic Kingdom at 6.30 at night. It feels like a Brookhart Friday night. Coming in after work, after dinner, just to snag and enjoy a few magical hours in the greatest place in the world. We are interrupting this Main Street stroll for a little character cavalcade that's are coming through. I'm in line at Joffrey's Revive, this Tomorrowland location. I think I'm gonna do something crazy and get that golden shooting star. So I can get that seasonal wild berry hibiscus for pressure. It's hot. She took the kids who are still snoozing into the shop you get into after Space Mountain, and then we're just kind of relaxed. Hello. We're in Magic Kingdom. So Peter and James are going on Dumbo. I was going to bring Teddy into Storybook Treats, and that's closed. So I was like, oh, I'll go over to like Village Gifts, like Belle's Gifts, and that's closed too. So that's just like, those are little things that make you remember like, oh yes, it's still a pandemic. Things aren't exactly how they were before 2020, but they are getting there. But this mama wants air conditioning. We're going on what might be James's favorite attraction, Dumbo. He just woke up and he was so excited. He started walking and stopped and then reached out for my hand. That's pretty special, huh, Jamesy? Here we go. Find Ariel? It's a nice rock. Come on, let's go find Mom and Teddy. That's a nice rock. We gotta see every fountain, even if it's one of Gaston. He's living his best magic in himself right there. Got some puffs, got a big thing of ice water, some like rice crisps. Um, but we don't know what happened to our package of wipes. But tip, baby care has them. So we're gonna go to baby care, buy wipes, and also use the AC to change both kids. Yeah. The sun is going down. I just, I just feel like our whole night, the world is our oyster. She's a beauty, isn't she? Sun hitting her, the moon in the background in between the spires. I'm so excited. It feels good. <laughs> it just feels so really just good. In a really good mood, you know? Oh, yeah. oh let's show James this time. When in doubt, fountain out. The babies were changed in the, the newly re renovated baby care at Magic Kim. We're going to Philhar Magic. Haven't done this in years. Kids have never done it. There's a new scene. We'll see how James. What? <laughs> We'll see how James fares with the sitting, with the watching, with the sun, with the 3D glasses. I think, test for 3D glasses. Yeah, I think he'll be jazzed. <laughs> yeah, you see two caballeros? We're gonna go on that right tomorrow. Because I'm so excited we're going to Epcot. <laughs> yeah, you see Wheezy and Jeannie and Hades? Loves the carpet. He 
Jimmy Bean is such a cutie pie today. Look at his cute outfit. James is what, 20 months old? 21 almost? Yeah. Never been on film, never seen film magic. Right? At least seven weeks. <laughs> so very excited. Here we go, James is on my lap. Wow. He loved it. He really did. He was like laughing out loud. Also, we got very nervous because right when the Peter Pan scene was supposed to start, the Coco scene started, which we were very, very excited for, but the Peter Pan scene is my absolute favorite. And so Sarah I and I looked at it and we were like, like but um, it came on after the Coco scene. And the Coco scene, absolutely incredible. It was Un Coco Loco. I thought that it was going to be Remember Me, and I love the whole soundtrack, so I was like, Thrill and the animation was incredible. Jamesy, you are a big kid. All right, since today was supposed to be a rest day and we snuck in, um to enjoy the evening. We decided to leave a little early. We're gonna go to the Contemporary for some food, but they have the, what is this, the East Bypass open up, so we're technically backstage. This is where you go into the tunnels over there. You can see those fireworks. James. <gasps> yeah. All right, we're situated at Contempo Cafe. We did our mobile order. We're gonna see some monorail action. I saw our friend Tabitha on the way over. We had a battle over fans. I think I lost. Yeah, you get to keep that fan. You should have asserted your dominance over mom. Alright, we've got Sarah's chicken banh mi. Side of fries. Oh, it has edible flowers on the side. Ooh. A chick bowl of chicken noodle. We're going to see if James wants that. And then a spicy chicken sandwich. For myself, with a side of bluey. This is Jamesy's chicken noodle soup chicken dance. Noodle soup. <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> that is cool. See those Mickey's? Oh, you can see you. <laughs> All right, we decided to minivan it back tonight, so we're waiting for the minivan. I got Teddy so there's occupying Jamesy. Minivan's like around the corner by Polynesian right now. Making its way over here to the grand, ooh, to the contemporary to pick us up. Minivan, here we go, kids are in. Uh, just threw in two loads of laundry. Um, pulled up some resort mugs because guess what? Tonight's like the last, not school night, if you want to phrase it like that, because it's Friday night, we leave Sunday night, so I mean, we check out Sunday morning, which means tomorrow night we'll be we'll like, Oh, it's our last night. Now we do have, we've we've never left this late on a trip. We leave at like, I think 10 or 10.30 on Sunday night. Like kind of wild. Um, so we have literally a full day. I and mean, I think we should be back here at like seven for the Mears Connect. Um, but that's still a pretty full day considering it's not a work day. So like we can, we could be at park open if we wanted to. Um, but yeah, it's the last, last weekend night, last not school night, if you want to call it that, um, before the end of this trip. Uh, it's been a great trip. I'm excited because like when we get home, we're just going to be like focused on our family, our next steps when it comes to career, life, everything, getting ready for Chicago Marathon, getting ready for Dopey, more fundraising, more healthiness, raising babies, planning our moves for next year in regards to what our family's gonna do. Um, and then we've got like almost back-to-back -back trips come next year with, or later this year with a, a November seven, nine, eight day. And then January, like two weeker with a week here and a week on the cruise. And then you got one sleeping babe and another babe hooked on Disney. Mickey cartoons. <laughs>
Oh, he's so cool with his Epcot jacket. Do a twirl and say it's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.